Girl, what did that girl just say, girl? <gasps> girl, I don't dance, I work. I don't play, I slay. I don't walk, I strut, 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 and then sashay. But I don't work for free. That's not the tea, hunty. So make it rain. Um, so, hi, hello, everyone. Hey, my name is Bella Litma. Um, as I promised, uh, I'm starting a series of conversations that deal with abundance. Um, sorry for um, my Hebrew followers. Uh, I had to switch to English. There were too many requests for me uh, to be available in as many approachable languages as I could. So I hope you guys get it and you're not giving up on me because uh, I'm not speaking, speaking your native language. Um, so yeah. So, um, what's up? How are you guys doing? Um, how is the world pandemic, economic crisis uh, is meeting you at this point? I guess we all sort of knew it from before, uh, but we just couldn't pay attention enough to it because we were like too busy running in our little cage in Russian the expression is like running like a squirrel in a wheel I guess it could be a hamster or a mouse I don't know how it is spoken in your language but the idea is that basically you just keep running around running around in your little cage and you're never able to move forward uh, so there is a lot of misconception about the money system, about uh, true abundance, and about how can we actually change this so we can reflect the true abundance that exists here on our planet Earth. Um, so if you identify with this kind of content please keep on watching and I'll keep like bringing up ideas that are relevant that I have been like uh, scrolling through and thinking like very deeply of how to deal with those issues how to tackle them and what is actually missing because I do not think that the monetary system itself is bad or wrong or uh, well it some parts of it are very procrastinated and are not in tune with the real abundance that exists um, and abundance is just about uh, feeling that we have everything we need uh, that we are in sync with uh, our resources uh, and uh, we are respecting our urge to give and receive respectfully so abundance is a lot about nourishing uh, those impulses that are intrinsically exist in ourselves and at this point of time like I feel like the corona um, the corona story was just a big wake-up call uh, for uh, people to understand that the current system is irrelevant because even if you have a lot of money or if you don't have any somehow in this world each and every one just ended up closed up not being able to do a lot of things that we want to do, reflecting internally about things that need to be done, putting things in perspective, sorry, I have a nerve thing <laughs> in my jaw, sorry, so like, yeah. Putting things in perspective and 
reobserving and like reevaluating our relationship with the realm of abundance. All right, so I get to meet a lot of people and discuss a lot of uh, of these issues with uh, many people, and I get ideas. And I always had the concept that, like, if you have money or if you don't have money, the amount of abundance that you have is the same. Only like lately, really, just before um, this whole drama erupted, I was like really busy in trying to uh, follow uh, the footsteps of people who are like. Um, actually, I was just really busy in trying to make a lot of money and become really financially stable and charging a lot of money and uh, providing uh, high quality services and just being on top of myself. But I was like really exhausted to, to truly, uh, honestly uh, confess here. I was really exhausted. Uh, not because uh, many people have like uh, issues with uh, marketing, self-marketing, and all that. I don't have those issues. These are not my issues. My issues that the fact that I actually had to produce such an amount of such a huge amount of work in order to uh, be able to have a certain amount of, mo- amount of money uh, that actually I was obligated. To because I took some loans before uh, to promote my uh, artistic career uh, and it was like so so exhausting and I knew something was wrong but I was still running I was trying to become high perform high performance person and I was exhausting myself so let us check um, those things inside ourselves and and feel how they resonate with you Uh, so first thing in my opinion that is like very important to feel the true abundance is nourishment and today I was going to invite you uh, to prepare a natural hydrating Hiding mask for the face, hydrating and nourishing the skin. Uh, this is a very simple recipe for me. Uh, I, uh, as a little girl or I- even as a growing woman, I was never into vanity. I was never into like feeling beautiful, putting creams and uh, nourishing myself. Because I didn't know how to do it. And now, and I was always like diminishing because I felt irrelevant, because I, I had a lot of judgment of people that were doing that, because I felt uh, empty. I do not